The Ministry of Roads and Highways has commenced the second phase of the Accra Intelligent Traffic Management Project. The project is expected to overcome the city's traffic congestion during peak traffic hours and lowering uh, pollution in the region. A report by Frederick Clarence Williams. The intelligence traffic lights will enable the operation of a green wave on certain corridors at rush hours which will help vehicles move through successive intersections at a specified speed without stopping. With the help of this system, travellers can get real-time information on traffic flows, congestion and incidents on travel routes from variable message signs installed at strategic locations. The phase one of the project was completed with signalisation of 44 traffic lights fixing at some part of Accra. One thing is key, and that is the traffic lights. You no, know, at, at, at the signalised intersections. So that's why all the time we have to employ the services of our police personnel you know, to direct traffic. It's not the best. You know, okay, the traffic lights are working well and they don't go off. You, know, you don't need you know, a policemen to be at intersection unless, of course, there is a failure and there is an emergency. The phase two of the project, dubbed the Accra Intelligence Traffic Management Project, funded by China Development Bank and Ghana government, will complete the remaining 253 traffic lights at the other parts of intersections of Accra. The Ministry of Roads and Highways commissioned two of the project at Ridge and Accra Sports Stadium traffic intersection to enable smooth vehicular movement. We have established a central control room from a screen you can see whatever is going on you know uh, once that stretch of road is hooked on onto it by the time the second phase comes to an end it is expected that all of us will enjoy moving in accra and we wouldn't see the police presence anymore the phase two of the project is expected to be completed in December this year.